Greetings, this is Indian and the Machine. We have uh, some intel coming in regarding John F. Kennedy Jr. from Ivo of Vega via Sharon Stewart. Now, okay, now the brief story synopsis here is that JFK Jr. didn't die in that plane crash and that he had become aware that Hillary was going to off him because they were going to run against each other for the Senate and Hillary knew that she would not win from his immense popularity and approval rating of the public. So he went away and as part of a 20-year plan to avenge his father's death and as well to take the country back from the deep state and to return it into the hands of the people. Now in this process there's going to be a new election because the current election system is based on corporate America and it's not actually based on a country. Washington DC is a separate country from the rest of the United States. Okay, so it's all there. So now this intel is very fascinating and let's read it. Sharon says, talking to Ivo, Now Ivo, would you like to tell us what you told me last night, please? Ivo says, I said Trump will have a second term in office and during his tenure, he will bring America to Nassara's standard. Once Nassara is implemented, it is mandatory that an election be called within a few months. And at this time, JFK Jr. John F. Kennedy Jr. will step up to run for President of the United States, and he will win. We told you that JFK Jr. is still alive, and he's working with the Alliance in some undisclosed location or locations. They're grooming him to be the first President of the Nassara-compliant United States. Me, meaning Sharon, that's pretty amazing. And if memory serves me correctly, he's a liberal. Or his family are liberals, anyways. Ivo. The creators of the two-party system were the cabal, and it will fall away after their demise, which is occurring now. Sharon. So Trump and Kennedy getting elected seems to be a foregone conclusion then. What's the point of politics if we already know? Ivo. I'm telling you the future. The political system will be reopened to any candidate who wants to run and debates will be conducted on that basis. The two-party system will be abolished. There will be many applicants for the position, but Kennedy will take it. Sharon, out of some feeling of pity? Because his father was killed? Ivo, no because he will qualify as the most level-headed candidate. Sharon, we could use that. After the sideshows we've had, the last few were a joke. I vote, because they're not really running the country. Trump is running the country with the aid of the Alliance. He makes his own decisions, and at times the Alliance does not like them. But he feels he has to do this for himself at times. Sharon, selfishness, just what you want in a president. Ivo, your people got the best they could with him. As they say, ironically, Rome wasn't built in a day. And so the new Atlantis will not change overnight. I have told you before, the light is the important factor. To the extent that the people hold their light, it is the extent that the country will change. When you do not hold your light, when you continue in the old third dimensional behaviors, you are aiding the deep state. It's that simple. So you can 
go to uh, Sharon's website, which is right here. I'll put a link up and you can read the rest of this message and many more that have come through Sharon, including Ivo, and there are others. Okay, so exciting news. Now, if you want to find more that I have blogged or written on this matter, go to One News and then search for JFK Jr. and several pieces of the puzzle come up, including this latest one, this latest mystery of the faceless man who was sitting with Donald Trump on a military airplane and they blocked out his face. But he holds the same composure as JFK Jr. Very interesting. This is one of the few pictures going around that suggests that JFK Jr. is still alive. And in fact, the words of Ivo are true. The evidence does support that JFK Jr. is Q. That's right. JFK Jr. is Q and that he is working behind the scenes on behalf of humanity for his very special mission and all our missions are special so it's wonderful when we see someone such as JFK Jr. come back from supposed death and to lead the way for the victory of the light and the restoration of the United States of America from the corporation of debt and slavery to the Republic of freedom and abundance. Thanks for listening and feel free to share the great news.